House of the Dragon Season 2 set videos reveal a nickname for Rhaenyra Targaryen, and it'll be important for Season 3 of the Game of Thrones prequel. A House of the Dragon Season 2 reveal about Rhaenyra Targaryen teases not only big things to come for that run of episodes, but an even more important storyline for Season 3 of the Game of Thrones prequel. Welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. House of the Dragon Season 2 story will see the Dance of the Dragons begin in earnest, following on from Aemon Targaryen killing Lucerys Valerion at the end of the Season 1. That means things will seriously escalate between the Greens and the Blacks, and that includes how the former side sees Rhaenyra Targaryen. Rhaenyra will be called Rhaenyra the Cruel in King's Landing, with the nickname revealed in a House of the Dragon Season 2 set video. The term comes as a reference to King Maegar the First Targaryen, aka Maegar the Cruel, widely regarded as one of the worst and most despicable kings in Westeros history. With the Blacks and Greens in the midst of a war that will leave countless dead, as well as House of the Dragon's blood and cheese story likely happening early, then such nicknames and propaganda from the Greens make sense, but are only the beginning. The set video refers to beholding the work of Rhaenyra the Cruel, and comes as a coffin seemingly carrying the body of a child passes through the streets of King's Landing, with Alison Hightower and Helena Targaryen also present for filming these scenes. That itself suggests it is the funeral of Prince Jaehaerys, the eldest son of Helena and King Aegon II Targaryen, and it's all but confirmed by another set photo, via Redanian Intelligence on Twitter, that shows a J.A.H. funeral, prop. With all of that combined, then it's clear Rhaenyra will be portrayed as the big villain responsible for the death of the prince. While she may be called Rhaenyra the Cruel in some quarters, there is a question over just how deserving of that nickname she will be in House of the Dragon Season 2 and 3. Aemond killing Lucerys in House of the Dragon Season 1's ending certainly set up a darker version of the character, and one who now seems hellbent on revenge by any means necessary rather than simply playing by the rules. Rhaenyra has nothing to do with blood and cheese in the book, but could be involved in the show, and likewise may be more heavily involved in the actual fighting during the Dance of the Dragons. Rhaenyra sits out most of the actual fighting in the book, but her dragon, Syrax, is a valuable weapon, and she herself less the kind of character to simply sit by while others especially her sons put their lives in danger. With that, then Rhaenyra taking part in battles, and killing others, is more plausible. So, her partaking in some fiery vengeance could well lead to her actually becoming more cruel a person, but it could also be a continuation of how House of the Dragon twists fire and blood's perspectives on history. It has already given Rhaenyra more agency in the story and painted her in a far better light than the book does, and it may not actually risk its main character becoming too unlikable. Instead, it's quite possible, perhaps even likely, that Rhaenyra the Cruel is a tactic from the Greens used to turn people against her, but that she in truth is no more cruel than she was in season 1. The difference between truth or mere perception may not matter too much, though, in House of the Dragon seasons 2 and 3. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.